everyone, welcome back to the Amazon challenge. So today Fallon is cleaning this nasty grill over here. She's cleaning it. She's gonna make some boy some steak today. Oh my god. Bruh, like I wish like she had some soap and water. Cause it looks like this dog will be clean thoroughly. Uh-huh. But she is almost done. Tristan wants to watch some television. So a lot has happened um, for these newest boys that's in the household. This is Cindy. She has adopted Cindy, you know, to be a warrior. And oh, look at this, guys. And this is Eric that she has adopted and Cindy. And one of Cindy's traits is that Cindy, um is a kleptomaniac so I don't know what to do with that hopefully he doesn't turn out bad when he grows up and Eric is cheerful so he looks like he's gonna be fine he's gonna be a fine little person he wants to be funny with Fallon so we can do that oh he wants to talk to Cormie these two are the best of friends like like when soon as they were in the house so soon as we adopted them they instantly became best friends and Corbin this is Ni this is Nicola's son he has grown up into a teen and he looks like the splitting image of his father and this is Prince Noxolo he has aged up into a teen as well and um he is the twin of Aisha, so Aisha has never met her brother. <clears throat> okay, guys, in the next episode, we're going to age up Aisha and Sonya, okay, on the same day. Um, so anyway, this is Prince right here. I think he looks very handsome. This is Tristan right here. As all you see, this is Fallon's son right here. And what's this? Oh my god, bruh. Why does everybody want to flirt with the prince? It's like, is this like a genetic thing? Is this like a genetic, like everybody wants to flirt with the prince? When I was playing this off camera, guys, um, he wanted to, Corbin wanted to flirt with the prince as well. Guys, I, I, I'm telling you, it has to be genetic or something. Because you know how I told you guys how everybody was attracted to Queen Maha, even Nicola and uh, Fallon at one point of time? Like, now everybody is attracted to the prince. Is this like a genetic thing? It has to be genetics. It's like, <laughs> it has to be genetics. What is this? He wants to be funny with Sydney. He can do that. And guys, um, for his traits, he is active, he is a geek, and he has a high metabolism. And for Prince, he is active, he's self-assured, and he has a high metabolism. What does he want really to do? He wants to be friendly with Fallon. Why is everybody attracted to the prince? Nobody else is attracted to each other. They're all attracted to him. Guys, it's genetics. We can't help that. I mean, the, the queen has some sort of attractive genetic trait where everybody is just drawn to her, men and women. I don't know what the problem is. So, prince... Whoa, Fallon, what are you doing? Them steaks look good, though. Everybody's attracted to the prince. Like, I can't help it. First, it's Tristan. He's attracted to the prince. Now, off camera, Corbin is attracted to the prince. It's genetics, guys. I don't know what to do with that. So, there's these two are best friends. But, guys, this, this is the thing. Like, I have not seen Prince have any attraction to none of the men in the household. None of the guys in the household do. He is not attracted to anybody in the household. Everyone is attracted. Corbin and Tristan are attracted to the Prince. He has, the Prince has no, he hasn't had any mulet that he's attracted to anybody in the house. 
I don't know what's up. Research workout tips. No, get rid of that. Level up of fitness. Yeah, that's more important. Okay, let's do that. Guys, he's just ha he has no attraction to nobody in the house. Bro, uh, I was about to say, bro, I know you're not gonna get no cereal. Okay. Come on, everybody, come get your meal. Come on, everyone. We're gonna have them stop. Oh, they're gonna stop playing. Oh, they both stop playing. That's good. Look at Fallon. See, she's such a mom. Just look at her. Then Kubu. She's like, come on, everybody, come get your, come get your food. Come get your food. We're gonna grab a serving. We're gonna sit right here. Come on, boys. Dinner's ready. Oh my God. Why do I keep having Fallon like eat this? Like I keep forgetting they're vegetarians. The boys are not vegetarian. Oh. I keep forgetting that Fallon is a vegetarian. I keep making the same mistake. And every time I keep messing up, messing over my vegetarian sims. Keep doing that. She's violating her principles. She's like, what am I doing? I shouldn't eat this. Boys, you eat this. Mm -hmm. I'm violating my principles. The queen would be ashamed of me just to even touch meat. The boys are eating right now. Go ahead, guys. Go ahead and eat. The prince is gonna... Hold on. The prince is gonna chat with his friend over here. I kind of gave him makeovers. I gave Corbin this... This makeover right here. Gave him... Oh, Tristan. Everybody's eating. That's good, guys. Zendi has eaten far away from everybody. I guess it's like Your too crowded over here. Oh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna put this away. Okay, everybody's eating right now. Okay, you guys need to know that. Okay, y'all, all y'all need to work out tonight. I'm sure everybody has to work out. They have to work out night and day, and it, it kind of sucks. And they cannot lose their muscle mass at all. I don't know what is up for everybody wanting to flirt with the prince. I don't get that. Like I said, it has to be a genetic thing. Okay, so Fallon is going to come out here. And when all the boys are done eating, what's Cindy? Cindy's almost done eating. So I'm going to have Cindy do, I'm going to have him use the bathroom. Use the bathroom, I'm going to have him go to sleep. Eric, oh, Eric's done eating, so I'm going to have Eric go to sleep too. And... Oh, he's very playful, so I'm going to have him be funny, okay. What is his level? His fitness level? It is. Oh, he's almost there. Okay. It's almost there. So we're just going to have him work out. And we're going to have the prince work out too. Going to have him work out. Oh, he has to. <laughs> he has to go to the bathroom. Okay, we're gonna let you go to the bathroom. Where's the bathroom? There it is. Okay, we'll let you go to the bathroom. Fallon. Fallon, go. Oh my god, Fallon, go clean this. Like, to be honest, Fallon would make a wonderful mom, but Fallon has a job to do, so we cannot actually ask her to be our caretaker because she already has a role. And we just need to get somebody else. <laughs> okay, Tristan's about to go to the bathroom. And he's going <laughs> to work out as well. <laughs> Come on, mentor him. Let's do this. She has to mentor her, uh... 
Queen's son as well. He is using the bathroom. Let him wash his hands. What happened? Privacy invaded? What happened? Oh, I think Fallon walked in on him. Yes, yeah, she did. She walked in on him. Come on, Fallon. It's all right, honey. Just... Wow, where did Corbin go? Look at him. The prince is really having a hard time. Okay, Fallon is really, really tired. She needs to go to sleep. So, we're going to have her do that. She's like, all right, boys, keep up the good work. It's like, Christian, make sure the boys keep up the good work. It's like, yes, ma'am. Oh, okay, looks like Corbin is done with his set. Did Corbin make it to his, um... His fitness level? No, he ain't even halfway there. Sorry, Corbin. You're gonna have to go back. You're gonna have to do it over again. Do it over. You gotta push the limit. Like you ain't even there. Okay, the prince is tired, so I'm going to have him sleep there. And Tristan. And that. Oh my god, he is still working out. Alright, come on. Okay, Corbin, you have to come back here. Then after you're done with your full set, then you can go to sleep. Alright, Christian, you can go to sleep. Not Corbin, he has to complete his full set. Yay! He has done it, guys. Now he can go to sleep. There you go. There it goes. Everybody, everybody's good. Everybody was well fed. She made the boys some dinner. Everybody has done their exercises. Everything's good, guys. So I'll see you in the. I'll see you uh in the next part. Okay, guys. This is in the morning time. So you know, all the boys decided to go to school today, and Fallon has um. Fallon has invited her girlfriend, Penny, over. She has invited Penny over. What does she want to do? <gasps> oh, she wants to get married to Penny. We are saving that. She wants to get married to Penny, guys, and it might happen. Oh, my God. Fallon is moving. Bruh, she really loves this girl. It's like, this is crazy. She really loves Penny. And she wants to get married to her. And we might do that, guys. I mean, there was so much love in the other episode, you know. You know, uh, Tabby proposing to Nicola, like, and the Queen and William being boyfriend or girlfriend. Everything is just happening so fast. And, guys, Penny <laughs> I, and, uh... <laughs> And Fallon has been seeing each other for a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks they have been seeing each other. 
Aw, she wants to bake apple pie. That's so cute. She is such a mom. I love her. <laughs> I love her. She is such a mom. <laughs> Guys, just, just, just look at this. She really does like Penny. It's just... It's just Fallon. She's she's never felt this. She's never felt this type of love before. So Fallon is really getting used to this whole love thing because you can see there's still positive moodlets. It's not the relationship isn't going. The romantic relationship is going up because Fallon is a really unflirty person because she's not really like good on that. To propose okay but she wants to marry penny and we'll probably we'll see how this relationship lasts guys uh -huh. we'll see where yeah. it goes because well. she already wants to propose mm -hmm. to penny already and penny is extremely Michelle. flirty <laughs> extremely flirty so we're gonna do all these romantic interactions <laughs> Oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> oh. Uh, I'm gonna Ciao. embrace her. Mm. Just gonna do all this. Oh. <laughs> I think Fallon really likes Penny. It's just oh, she's just really reluctant <laughs> when it comes to to oh. love. She's really reluctant. <laughs> So we're just gonna ask Penny about her day. What's been going on with her? Mm -hmm. Meet someone new. Okay. So should we like tell her about you know us being an Amazon? I mean, if you know, since Penny's already our girlfriend, I mean, she should have to adapt to our way of life. And, you know, to be an Amazon, she's going to have to dress like an Amazon. She she cannot dress like this. She cannot dress like this. She just she just cannot. So, maybe we should share our secret with her. Because Fallon did come over in the other episode. I think she came over to talk about Penny possibly being part of the Amazon. So, we might. We might share our secret with her, guys. We're going to... First share a secret. Where is it? There it is. We're gonna share our secret. Vanessa? Fallon's gonna tell uh -huh. her guys. Being equipped. Let's do it. She's like, uh guess what? I'm an I'm an Amazon. Guess what? Dorna? Sparza. Oh, Penny. And Penny thinks she's she's you know, she's kidding around. She's like, Oh fuck, Fally, you're you're such a kidder, and Fallon was like, uh, oh, okay, but I'm, I'm really not playing. I really am an Amazon. And Penny kind of just, like, brushed it off. She's just like, oh, Fallon, you're just, you're such a kidder, Fallon. And Fallon's not joking. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> She's not joking. There we go. <gasps> I can what finally propose, that? but you know what? Banana? We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do it. It's Oomba too soon. It's oh, way too soon. Mackinerve. Ooh. All of the signs. I think her Shrugs. penny never woohooed before. I think they never uh. did. So. <laughs> Let's attempt to whisper seductively. Let's do that. Let's... What is... Let's express our so fondness to Penny. Because mm -hmm. her and Penny really... They really hit it off during, like, the beginning of my Amazon challenge when they were at the bar. Her and Penny, like, really hit it off. I think Penny really... I think she really likes her. I really believe she does. I think she does. So blue bug oh, Rishi. Huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just look at that. She really does like Penny. <laughs> I think it's really cute that they are spending all this time because she wants to get married to Penny. And that is just that's just so good. Okay, we're gonna make this apple pie for the for the kitties when we get for them to get home. So let's Let's make this apple pie. If we can make it. Mm. 
Yep, we can make it. So, Fallon, go make the apple pie for kitties. Once they get home. Oh, look how happy Fallon is. Fallon is extremely happy. And I know in the earlier episode, I, I told you guys that Fallon had a big crush on the queen. But sadly, guys, the queen did not have those same feelings for her. So... <laughs> It kind of hurt Fallon's feelings that she found out the Queen did not have the same feelings that she did. So I think Fallon like kind of moved on since she finally realized she had mm -hmm. no chance with the Queen. I think her arrogance caught up to her, and the Queen had to and the Goddess had to punish her. It's just like, okay, you're really cocky, Fallon. You you think that you know you're gonna get a chance with the Queen because you're extremely cocky. Because I told you guys at the beginning she extreme seemed like really cocky at the beginning like oh well the the, the queen should be with me not not Tanvi because you know I'm the warrior I got a better status than Tanvi does but I think you know since Fallon is getting older she's starting to realize that you know what she you know what she did was extremely stupid because she's just like I was I was dumb I was dumb. I don't know what I felt. And Fallon felt like it was a punishment for her being arrogant and cocky. Oh, Penny has to leave. Okay, Penny. See ya. And look, she's tired. I don't know. She probably stayed up all night or something. So Penny's leaving, guys. And Fallon is baking this apple pie cake thing. I don't know what is up with my sims going all the way to the bathroom to finish the cake to finish a whole dinner basically mm, that's locked up for everyone but household members F Lucas uh, no oh my god it's delicious look how beautiful this looks oh my gosh she is such a mom Fallon is extremely happy she she's got her boys you know she has the woman she loves she's baking apple pies Life is good for Fallon over here. She is really happy. So Fallon's just gonna go over here and take care of her garden. Like she usually does. Water the garden. Cause trust me, when I left Trish in here, the garden was a mess. Like the plants were dying. Like Trish was not taking care of this garden at all. So that's why Fallon had to come back here and take care of it herself because her son was lacking in that. And Fallon would be extremely upset if her plants died. The plants are literally her whole world. These are her babies too. So Fallon is taking care of all these plants. All these little plants right here. Bruh, she's all the way in the trees. Fire. So I, I believe that, you know, Fallon, you know, she doesn't want to be like a hardcore tomboy like she used to be in the beginning I think she wanted to change up her look and change up her style and just go out there and you know just be social and I think that's what Fallon wants to do she wants to be social she wants she still is a warrior by the way she is still is a tomboy by heart but you know I think she wants to be a little bit softer and she wants to meet someone because she uh -huh. she saw the connection that be, that Nicola and Tanvi had. I think there was a connection between Tanvi and uh -huh. Nicola. Otherwise, Nicola would have never accepted her proposal if there was a no connection. Uh -huh. And her and Tanvi are fine now, guys. They don't have any mo any animosity towards each other like Tanvi did in the beginning. Tanvi, I think uh, Fallon is really proud of Tanvi and Nicola for proposing and setting a date to trust you to invite over Melanie no don't invite her over guys we are supposed to we're that's supposed to be in the next part you're not supposed to see the other you're not supposed to see the other oh my god <laughs> oh my god look at him oh does, does he look so sad all the boys are back home Tristan is on his phone once again. I don't know what he's looking. What are you looking at? I Bro, I can't see the text messages. What are you looking at? Mm -hmm. 
guys, like, in the next episode, there's gonna be, like, a really, really huge... Fa Why has he got the stank look? Oh, oh, bruh. I cannot with these teenagers in The Sims 4 and their stank looks. Trish, oh, Corbin, why do you have a stank look on your face? See, Tr Prince is fine, Trish is fine. It's like Corbin is walking around with these stank looks. Look at everybody running there to get something to eat. And he's just sitting there. And that's the fence I build around the entire place so nobody can't just go all the way around and try to get in here. Nope, the fence is blocked on this side too, guys. You can't get around to the side, the back. You can't get in through anywhere. Any Everybody's blocked off. You're going to have to wait at the gate if you want it open. So it is what it is. So Fallon is still working on her gardening skill right now. Corbin is eating. He was very focused at school. Productive school day. That's good. Oh, everybody's getting the pies that Fallon made. That is so nice. Look at him working on his athletic skill. Unlike Eric, who um, would rather watch television and not work on his skills. I like how all the boys like to sit around and just talk to each other. They're all so friendly and nice. No animosity at all. Fallon really likes that. Um, Fallon and no. Let's harvest all of these. Let's harvest all... Oh, let's harvest buddy. all. Let's I just harvest all of these. So, guys, in the next part, there's just gonna be like a really, really huge family. Meeting. So the princess and Sonya will age up, and I will invite Corbin. I will invite Tristan. I'll invite the prince over and have him come over to see his sister and his mom for the first time ever. Let's look at the relationships. He hardly doesn't know his mother. He's never seen his mother, so it will be a good thing for him to see his mom. And his sister and him are friends. I think they're like, they're friends genetically because they're twins. I mean, like there's like, has some... <laughs> sort of connection and you really need to use the bathroom I feel like they have like like a twin by connection Prince oh look at Prince working on his skill like like a good boy look at him let's see Savannah oh I forgot he used to live with uh, his family. This is his cousin because his dad was Guadalupe. And Guadalupe, yep, yeah, this is his father. He's still friends with his dad. He's never met his mom. He's never met his sister. So, guys, it's just gonna be a big, huge family reunion when all, well, everybody's just gonna come and just meet each other. Oh my God, Fallon never threw this out. Oh, yeah. look at him doing his homework. <laughs> Gosh, just look at him doing his homework. Eric, can you... Oh, Eric, where are you? Oh my god. Eric, how come you can't just go outside and do some and play on the monkey bars. It doesn't have to be too long. You just play on the monkey bars when you want. And this is broke, so let's fix that. Okay, Fallon's good. She has took care of the garden, watered it, harvested it, got some new plants. Good job, Fallon. Ooh, blackberries and potatoes. They look very nice. Well, guys. 
Oh, Fizz, look at that. That is so cute. Kisana Snape. Wants it. This note, oh, guys. I set this note. Thank you guys for watching this episode of the Amazon Challenge. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.